What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Jock the Game here. New setup, new things, so sorry for the echoiness. It might be a little while before that gets fixed, but we got some things on the way. A uh, brewing, but welcome to the first uh, new house video. In the last episode of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair, um, we had to yell at our main character because our main character was like, oh my god, they're gonna kill each other. And it's like, no, it's they're literally just training. It's like, Abuki. You know better. Main character, you know better. Um, but yeah, it is uh, morning still. And my controller decided to be dumb for a second. Yeah, for uh, luckily it was only for a second. Oh yeah, there's the reticle. Um, I forgot what we're doing. Maybe this will tell us. Leave here? Yes. Well, let's let us know. Is it free time? I should go eat at the restaurant or something. Ha ha ha! See, I'm learning the controls. Um, it's a really good experience when I can actually learn the controls. Let's check our pet. Uh, our despair meter is at one, which is... I don't know if that's, like, how it got there, but it got there. Oh. How do I get this map off? There it is. Gundam. Hi, Gundam. Do not speak to me, human. What the heck? The wind is running amok today. It's carrying the lost souls of Biakia and Teru. Are they destined to be cradled against the Heavenly, Mother bos Heavenly Mother's bosom? Or are they to burn in the fires of Jinia? Perhaps you should pray for them, human child. It is possible that a prayer may save their souls. <laughs> now then, I shall take my leave. This guy's the same as usual. Well, it's Gundam, so that's what we're here for. That's why we talked to him. Because we're here for it. We needed a little bit of a ha ha ha. Can't talk to you today. I'm sorry, Nikamaru. Um, Ibuki, you made me mad, but not really. So we'll talk to you first. You know, it's just we got to talk to everybody before that. Do you know how many O's I used? Who knows? Whoa there, your cool demeanor is giving me the shivers. But you shouldn't talk about it no more. You know, shoot me with your word arrows. Thinking about Biaki, I made me feel really sad, so I'm trying super hard to be upbeat. About Biaki. I see. That's I right. See. He may have had piggy fingers, but he was really totally awesome. It sounds easy to promise uh, to keep a promise until the very end, but I think it's actually really, really hard. You're right. Especially in this kind of situation. But to actually die like that. If only he didn't have piggy fingers. Darn. That's so disappointing. Just as disappointing as uh, seeing a Steam notification on a display capture. What the heck, Steam? <laughs> now then, off to the restaurant. I tell you. She didn't have to say the last bit. Well, I mean, she didn't have to, but at least she let you know where she was going. I feel so much nostalgia for the Japanese dishes my servant people used to prepare. Her servant must have been annoyed to be forced to cook stuff like that. However, an army marches with its stomachs. That being said, let us have some breakfast. I mean, my breakfast is right here. I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, it's fine. Good morning, Nekamaru. Whoa! Well, what is it, Hayame? Do you need to talk to me about something? What's wrong? Why are you so surprised? What are you so surprised about? Oh, uh, no need to worry. I'm gonna head to the restaurant first. <laughs> uh, I do not like how coy he's being. Uh, is it just my imagination or does he seem weirder than usual? Yeah, he's being coy and he needs to be up front with his boyfriend, okay? It's fine. Be up front and then I don't have to worry about you, okay? Now, I mean, he could be like, I killed Megiddo and I'd be like, well, that's unfortunate that you're going to die, but you killed the person who I don't like, so yeah. No, I wouldn't excuse it, to be honest. There's no reason to do the do the killing in the first place. You're not going to that restaurant? You're not going to the restaurant, Mahiru? Uh, sorry, I'm just thinking about Teru. I know Monokuma said Teru's motive was boring and all. But it wasn't boring at all. I mean, it's your mom. She's like the most important family member, you know? Yeah, I agree. Of course, that didn't mean that I can accept what Terra Terra did either. But, but, 
But still, if my family? Hey. I'm sorry, it's nothing. Even though I think Terra Terra did what Terra Terra what Terra Terra did was stupid, it'd be bad if I allowed Monokuma to influence me too. Obviously. That's right. I'm never gonna follow Monokuma's orders. Uh, that's not a good idea, Mihiru. But I do agree with what you're saying because I do feel bad for Terra Terra, like an actuality. And I talked about that in one of the previous episodes. I do. I personally do feel bad. That Ter Teru had no idea what was going on with his mother. His mother was sick. He wanted to spend time with her. So, like, his actions are just... Like, I mean, I couldn't imagine if my parents were in, like, peril like that. And they were sick. And you're trying to help them. And do whatever you can to help them. As the son of the family. Um, more so. Not saying that that can't be the thing for women either. Because, I mean, I know women want to take care of the household as well. But for us, it's like... A, upstanding responsibility so yeah i completely and i i, I feel bad for terra terra because terra terra shouldn't have to feel those pressures especially at a young age well young is a relative i mean technically younger than me um but not by much um so yeah no i still i actually genuinely do feel bad about what happened to terra terra um character flaws were definitely evident but as far as um you know what he had to do or what he had to endure i do feel bad about that so anyway moving on hey chiaki hey ah good morning you're playing video games again this morning hmm. it's like whenever you find the time you always come here and don't you chiaki you think so hey i know you like video games but if you don't get out of the sun more you'll get come sick on. and you know it's important to get to know others better too hmm. So let's play games outside. I'm sure that they they have stuff like jump rope and bamboo copter and at the supermarket. Huh? Jump rope, bamboo copter. Hmm. Are those games too? I don't get it. Come on. Then you can play with us after breakfast. Good deeds should be done quickly, as I say. Are you saying that I have to join too? <gasps> What's with that tone? If you don't want to come, you don't have to. Seriously, she's so bossy towards you guys or towards hmm. guys. Jump rope. Bamboo Copter, the world is still overflowing with strange things. Honestly, but honestly, I'd be down. I mean, I get it. Yo, Yo Jaime. Good morning, Akane. Man, I'm starving. Let's hurry the hell up and get some food. I know. I That's why I didn't want to talk to you. Not the, like, you know, the fact that I don't want to associate with her, because I do. I just knew she would want food and me talking to her whole time from that. So it was more like a convenience thing, but it's fine. It's not that the restaurant has bad food, but compared to Taro's Ter food, it's so, so, so. Those party dishes, they were seriously so good. And it was like I could eat as much as I wanted. I wanted to keep eating his food. I know. Gah. Grieving like this isn't like me. I'm probably acting strange because I'm so hungry. All right, gotta, all I gotta do is eat. I mean, yeah, but I get the grieving, though. Like, I mean, you guys experience death firsthand. It's it's totally understandable. Hi, everyone. Hmm. Hey, you came at the right time. What do you think, Jaime? What do I think about what? <laughs> Ugh, isn't it obvious? The stuff I said about the traitor and the world editor. I'm asking you if you know anything about it. After one night's sleep, there's no way I suddenly found out any... Or, oh, this is Jaime. I have my camera in a weird spot. Not that I that doesn't really affect anything because I literally didn't catch the people who were talking anyway. In the, but I'm gonna blame it on that. After one night's sleep, there's no way I'd suddenly find out anything. What's going on? Well, that's obvious. Same goes for me too. I didn't get enough sleep last night because of the baffling nonsense. But but but, but I wonder if it's really true. Like that th th there's a, a traitor among us. No. No need to worry. You don't have to worry about a traitor at all. <laughs> However, if um, by, by, by chance, a wor worst case scenario... Impossible. Impossible! Even in a worst case scenario, you don't have to worry about the traitor. That's weird. Why? What do you mean? You're being awfully certain about it. Oh. Of course. In fact, I am. that so-called traitor is tied up at the moment and it can't move at all. Huh? It cannot be. T tied, tied up, you say? Um... Could you be referring to Nagito, whom we haven't seen since yesterday? Who else could it be? Nagito is the traitor. 
Whoa, 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 what about that other part where you said he was tied up and can't move? Oh, hey, Kazuichi, what should we do? Hey. Dumbass, don't roll me into it. They'll find out we work together too. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are both idiots. Hey, what does that this mean? I mean... Well, you know... There's no way that we can let him run around free. I mean, he's tried to put us in danger, you know? Teru Teru committed a murder because he, that guy tempted him, right? So that makes him a killer, too. It's necessary to deal with him in an appropriate manner. So, that's why you left him tied up? However, that cannot be helped. He is quite dangerous. H how should I put that? This, um, he's a little creepy. Um, not that I want to badmouth him or anything, um... He's not a little creepy. He's creepy to the max. His creepiness is so high that he can sell tickets to see it. Mm, that's truly a nice line. Every fiber in my being agrees with you. That's right. There is no existence more troublesome than that of an incomprehensible human. What they like, what they hate, what makes them happy, what makes them angry. It is normal for all beings to have a standard rooted into the experience so that they can predict their opponent's actions. But at times, those standards do not work to a certain opponents. Those are the most fearsome opponents of them all. Establishing a relationship with such a human is impossible. Hey. You should be careful. You're teetering on the edge of you, uh, on the edge yourself. And? Anyway, where did you two tie up Nagito? Uh. The dining hall in the old hotel building. That's where Byakuya got killed. Or that that's where Byakuya got killed. He needs to reflect on what he did at that place. <laughs> so you're saying it's better to kill off a troublesome ally before they turn into an enemy. Uh, you kill him? Uh, obviously he's alive. I only knocked him out so we could tie him up. Then, uh, then what shall we do with Nagito at this point? Let's hear everyone's opinion. Hmm. Hmm. It's not safe to let him walk around freely, so there's no telling what he'll end up doing next. <laughs> He's also the most likely person to be the traitor. Isn't it obviously... Is it... So it not it okay if we just keep him tied up for a while? This chick is still eating a lot. If so, it would seem to be better to watch him for a little while. But it would be bad if we don't let him eat or drink. He might end up dying for real. I know that already. Jeez, I didn't expect you two to do something like that. I wish you'd treat him more like treat it more like an achievement. <laughs> and I thought that Tiny Boy was up to something again. What do you? Who are you calling Tiny Boy? Whoa, you're here! Jeez. It figures you guys are messed up. Is that why you, what you guys do? If you don't like your buddy, you corner him. Ugh. Look at you sheep acting all righteous. What did you say? We didn't do anything wrong. Oh, did the shitty sheep all bleed at me? It looks like there's more than one bastard who needs to get tied up. <laughs> Try it if you dare. Shut up. Shut up. You can threaten me, but I'm not scared. You guys are... You're just a little pipsqueak without your Kaziru clan backing you up. You say? What did... Yeah, well, that's, they, they just, uh, enough. Knock it off, you two. I'll make you regret saying that later. What the heck? He's just a whiny loser. Um, Kazuichi, let us just stop this already. Aww. Jeez, all this fighting, I can't tell. I can tell it's not going to be an easy in the future. The future? Um, I wonder if we even have a future. Hey! Hey, don't start mumbling like that. If you do, I'll get depressed too. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to. Oh, oh, phew. On top of this island's mysteries, now there's also Nagito, Nagito and Fuyuhiko to deal with. Ah, <sighs> just one thing after another. In that uncomfortable atmosphere, we finished our breakfast and left for our own respective cottages. Free time! Probably? Yeah. Cool. I was like, we better have free time. I'm sorry, but like, after that, we need it. Okay. So here's two things that I want to tackle. Number one... I kind of want to get to know, like, okay, so chapter one, as you guys know, 
was all about kind of figuring out um, Nekamaru. And as much as I love Nekamaru, this specific free time of this chapter, because we've gotten, we got two on the first chapter, so I'm hoping we get two in this one. The first portion, I will not be talking to Nagito. Or not Nagito, Nekamaru. Um, Pekka was up for grabs. Oh, Nagito's right here. Ooh. I kind of stupid. Fuck it. I'm doing it. It's such a rude thing to do, but I'm so gonna do it. You know, they, honestly, it'll probably be like, you can't talk to him here. And I'll be like, fine. But, you know, in my guesstimation, we're gonna have plenty of time with this fellow. So, um... Yeah. I mean, like I said, I think that honestly we are going to have a lot of time with Nagito to build up his thing. Which you mean, I mean, it would probably be best if I talk to other people if I can't, like, do that. But whatever. Closed. Oh, I can't even go in here. I'm not mentally prepared. I shouldn't go with that. Yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. I wanted to try at least, okay? Oh, seeing the X's. No. Oh my gosh. I'm not supposed to see the X's. Okay, who's on that beach? Chiaki and Mihiru. Ooh, that's not a bad option at all. I've been enjoying Mahiru. Yep, that decided. We're going to see Mahiru. Oh. What? Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I don't know. I'm going to say it's probably a good thing. I'm a hero. Oh, that's no. I want. I almost went to click that, and that's not what I want. What's going on? I understand that Guido isn't normal, but tying him up and locking him away is such an extreme thing to do. They should really think about the consequences a little bit more. Hey, you're right. I'm thirsty right now, so I guess you can join me for some tea. Tea sounds great. I spent time drinking tea with Mihiru and discussing various topics. Looks like Mihiru and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Mihiru a present? Oh, crap. I don't have presents. I didn't go buy presents. Oh, frickadoodle. I didn't buy presents. I'm sorry. Are you sure you don't want to give her something? Hold on to it. Hey, hey. Hi, May. Stay there. Stay right there. Say mm -hmm. cheese. Okay, cheese. Just kidding. Click. The shutter went click, and I guess Mihiru wanted to take a picture of me. Well then, I guess that's good enough. Yep, I'm sure that that sure is a dumb looking face. Dumb looking face? That's only because you took my picture so suddenly. Just so you know, it's not like I want to take a picture of you or anything. I swear to every god who's listening that is that that's true. This is just a, a record. You don't have to go that far. But what kind of record? Mm. A record. It's just a record. I want a record that record that right now. Um that we're all living together in this place we're living together it's pretty simple but in this kind of situation it's easy for us to forget that you know so i decided to make a record of everyone each day so i won't forget that's pretty much the only thing i can do right now anyway i see that's a good idea seriously i wouldn't have thought to do something like that my hero seems like a pretty solid person but taking pictures of guys just isn't fun so i guess it'll be fine if i only do that once every three days you're already contradicting what you just said. Well, aren't you commendable? It's so awesome that your priorities are in check. What's going on? What does that mean? Hmm? More importantly, we've got this blue sea and white beach, but the weird stuffed animals just ruin the vibe. No matter how beautiful the scenery is, if the subject face doesn't stand hey. out. Uh, if you ever see Monokuma again, capture him. And I can take a picture of Monomi just fine. But what he sees... But he sees what I'm trying to do every time. One day I'll definitely capture him with my viewfinder. And I 
love. I'll be a world famous for landing such a huge scoop. Well then, I'm busy, so guess I'll see you later. After controlling so much of the conversation, Mahiro suddenly changed the subject and walked away. Was she angry or something? Did I say something weird? Hmm. This is bad. I have no idea what's going on. Report card's been updated. Did I get the, um, the hope fragment? Or do I have to give her a present? That's something I need to see, like, right now. Because if I didn't get a hope fragment for her, which is very possible. No, okay, I did. Did they, like, take away the need to give presents? I mean, I feel like I still should. Like, I feel like that makes more sense, you know? So I'm going to go to the store and get some. Oh, I can't really move that far. But yeah, I think that makes the most sense. Now then after that, I got to figure out like what I'm buying, how I'm buying it, and then where to go. Because technically, I should go to that second island. Personally, I believe that I should. Rocket Punch Market. And see who is in the second island. Maybe talk to like... Um... Would a Titan drink this cola? I bet an Aerobrint could could finish drinking this before it goes flat. Ramoon, Blue Ram, is that Cod Baguette? Cod row. Yeah, we'll buy some. I know that my baseball trainer likes that. I'm definitely going to go see my hero, not my hero, uh, Mekon, Mekon, Mekon. That's who I want to see. Mekon is who we're going to go see. But first, let me go ahead and do the pets thing. Make sure that there's no, like, thing. Okay, cool. Map. Where would Mekon be? Pekko's there, but we don't want to see Pekko. Like, we love Pekko, but we don't need to see Pekko. Here's the thing. I think a death will take me back and take it hit me harder now. Because I'm starting to like actually pay attention. Not pay attention, but like I'm starting to get to know these characters in a lot more of a fashion. If that makes sense. And so because I'm starting to get the, to know these characters a lot more. I definitely think that it will hit a lot harder if something were to happen. I was like, totally said Pekko, and that's Pekko right there. So who in the world did I call Pekko? Oh, Chiaki. That was my bad. Oopsies. Gundam Kazuichi. 
That's Squish Squish Girl. That's Mihiru and Akane. Wow. She's like in the most inconvenient spot. What the heck? It looks like, it looks like a snake. It is a snake. Why are we a snake now? I wonder if it'll, like, what it'll turn into, you know? That's part of the running experience, literally. Okay, they are in the library. So let's head in. Hi, Mikon. <clears throat> What's going to happen to us now? Let's invite Mikon to hang out. <clears throat> <laughs> I never thought I'd be so it'd be so calming to have someone next to me. I spent time today relaxing at the park with Mikon. Looks like Mikon and I grew a little bit closer. Would you like to give Mikon a present? Sure. We have tissues for you, girl. Hopefully you don't take this the wrong way, because you definitely could. But hopefully, like I said, hopefully you don't. For me? It's been a while since everyone gave me something for free. I'm so happy. Thank you, Jaime. This is bad. I feel like if the silence goes on any longer... Um, did I do something wrong again? Seriously, you didn't do anything. I already told you that I just want to talk to you normally. <laughs> I see. Uh, I'm glad. Um, if you would like to talk, I don't really know what everyone else likes yet. Um, there might be lots of things I'm not good at doing, but um, I'll do anything, so please let me know. Do anything? Of course, I'll do anything. Hey, I don't think you should say something like that so freely. Uh, why? I mean, b b before we even arrived here, everyone else didn't seem to mind. Um, for fun, I tried eating strange bugs, and I let them use my body when there wasn't anything else to write on. Also, I had to be responsible for debts and be the target for dart games, so, um, I'm pretty useful, you know? Uh, that doesn't sound like a joke at all. How can you be smiling when you were forced to do stuff like that? Like, did you actually enjoy it? Obviously, I don't want to do that stuff at all, but if it makes everyone not hate me then and smile at me, then it's much better. <laughs> For some reason, I feel this profound concern. Why is she like this? Um, Jaime, um, um, would you like to try it out too? Doodling is fun. Please draw on me whenever you like. Um, also, I'm gonna pretending to be a pig. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. Just please don't look at me like that. Uh, so sorry. Um, but for now, let's talk again later, because you need to calm down. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I'll make sure to get it right. I'll make sure that I get it right the next time. So please talk to me again. Uh, I beg of you. Sure, I promise. So, see you later, all right? Yes, I I'll, I'll be waiting forever. It's like I ran away or something, but... I should definitely try to talk to her properly next time around. I returned to my room, but I felt like Mikon was still watching me from somewhere forever. Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Emergency! Emergency! Oh, frick! I was expecting a normal nighttime. Whoa, 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 Head over to Jabberwock Park as fast as you can. Come on, hurry up. I, like, got a drink and, like, took a sip of my, like, smoothie that I made. I was like, okay, he's going to say his routine stuff. First, I'll treat you to my special made curry right tomorrow night. Come on, hurry the F up. Oh, God. Curry rice, huh? It feels like I haven't eaten that in a while. Wait, who'd actually fall for that? I don't know what he's planning this time around. But there's no way I can ignore it. Jabberwock Park again, huh? 
Well, in the next episode of Danganronpa, Trigger Happy Havoc, that's not the game we're playing. I get to make another cut. But in the next episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair, we'll be tackling whatever the heck is happening at Jabberwocky Park. Um, I'm definitely scared, definitely nervous. I definitely feel like I have the grounds to do that. But yeah, we'll see you guys in that next episode. Bye!